Hi, in this video we will see about the flood field algorithm. Most of us use the flood field algorithm without knowing we are using it. One of the best example is in any image editing tool, the paint bucket is based on the flood field algorithm. When we take the paint bucket to a pixel and click, the color of the region of the pixel is replaced with a new selected color. How it actually works is based on the flood field algorithm. We will see flood field algorithm in detail in this video. First, we will see about the pseudocode for this flood field algorithm. This algorithm takes five input parameters. They are the new color to which the old color need to be replaced, the old color which is need to be replaced, and the x and y axis of the pixel in the image, and the image which is represented in the two-dimensional array. First, we will check whether the given pixel x and y axis is not the boundary condition. That is. This point should not lie outside this image. And second, we will check whether this x and y axis is not already set to the new color. If it is already set to new color, then we no need to do that flood field algorithm at that particular pixel. And the next condition is if the given point is equal to the old color. If all these three conditions meet, then only we need to perform the flood field algorithm at that given point. Then we need to change the color of the pixel to the new color. Then we need to recursively call the flood field algorithm four times by moving the x axis down one step and moving the y axis one step towards the right and moving the x axis one step backwards that is towards the top and moving the y axis one step towards the left. Once this function gets terminated, then the old color will be replaced with the new color. We will see this in action with a 3 cross 3 matrix. Now here the old color is yellow and the new color which we want to replace is green. Given the point 1 comma 1, we will check whether this point is not equal to the boundary. This is not equal to boundary and we are checking whether this point is new color. This is not new color and we are checking if this point is equal to the old color. Yes, this point is equal to the old color. Then we are performing the flat fill algorithm. Here we are changing board 1 comma 1 to the new color and we are moving the x-axis down by one step. So we will be in the position 2 comma 1. Now here we are checking the same condition again. All this condition met here also. So we are replacing the color from yellow to green here. And from here we are incrementing the x by 1. If we increment x by 1, we will move outside the boundary. So we are terminating that condition. Now we will perform move y plus 1. If we move y plus 1, we will be in 2 comma 2. The 2 comma 2 is not the old color. So we are terminating that. And we will move x minus 1. x minus 1 is 1 comma 1. We already changed the color of x 1 comma 1 to green. So we no need to perform it again. So we are terminating that. Move y minus 1. If you perform y minus 1, we are in the position 2 comma 0, 2 comma 0 is blue, we no need to perform that operation again. Once we backtrack, we are moving y plus 1, that is towards the right hand side. Now we are in the position 1 comma 2, 1 comma 2 is yellow, so we are replacing this color with green. Here we can check the top, bottom, right and left, all these four directions are not valid, so we are going back to our 1 comma 1. Here in 1 comma 1, we have move x minus 1. So if we perform move x minus 1, we are in the position 0 comma 1. In 0 comma 1, it is in yellow. So we are replacing the color of yellow with green. Here in this position, all the four directions are invalid. So we are going back to 1 comma 1. If we go back to 1 comma 1, then move y minus 1. If we move y minus 1, we are in the position 1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 is yellow. So we are replacing the color from yellow to green. So this is how the flood field algorithm works. So we have seen how this flood field algorithm works with a very simple 3 cross 3 matrix. How this really works for image? Let's take we have this uh, Mario. Here we want to change the color of this Mario shirt from blue to green. We will have value assigned to each and every pixel. It will be in the form of RGB. That is like we will have some value assigned to red and some value assigned to green and some value assigned to blue. 
because these are the primary colors each and every color formed is the combination of these three primary colors so for the sake of simplicity i am considering each and every pixel a single value so here i am converting this image to a matrix each pixel corresponds to an integer value so here we want to change the color of the shirt that is from blue to green i am randomly clicking on some point in this shirt here i am changing that 6 to 7 now i will let this animation run so that you can understand how this flood fill algorithm works blue got replaced to green this is how the flood fill algorithm works now we will see the java code for this i am just converting my pseudo code to a code here as i mentioned we need four parameters one is an image which is the two-dimensional representation of image possibly the pixel values and the x and y values here i am giving the values as rows and column and then the new color we are trying to take the value of the point and we are assigning it to the old color so that we will know the old color and the new color this algorithm can be birth for search and depth for search in this code we will see how to perform in depth of first search. I am checking whether it meets the condition. Here the check condition is we are checking whether the given pixel is lying outside the matrix. If it is lying outside the matrix we will return true and then if the given pixel is already in the new color we will return true and if the given pixel is not equal to the old color then we will return true. If none of this condition met then we are returning false so that we will go ahead with our flood fill algorithm. If this condition returns false that means if it met all the condition whichever we talked in the pseudo code then we are replacing the pixel of that image to the new color and we are recursively performing this operation in all the four directions here the four directions are right left top and bottom once this function completely terminates then the flood fill algorithm is applied to the given image we will see the same algorithm in a iterative way here we have declared a point this point has x and y variables and it has a constructor which takes x and y values we are using the same condition whichever we are using in the dfs and we can able to see a wide variety of uh, problems in programming interview based on this flood fill algorithm thanks for watching like this video and subscribe to this channel for more technical videos Thanks for subscribing.